Monster Financial Services, offering a complete comprehensive review of your financial portfolio. This is your News Now Sports. Good evening and welcome to your News Now Sports. It's a regular season finale for high school football, but there's still plenty of league titles up for grabs. One particular showdown hails from Putnam County as the Columbus Grove Bulldogs attempt to win their league-tying 16th Northwest Conference title, while the Bluffton Pirates look to tie Grove for the second most with their 15th conference crown. Our Tony Quach has more with both head coaches tonight in an, in an NWC championship game. Good evening, Tony. Good evening, Dave. All season long, Bluffton and Columbus Grove were on a collision course as they continue to rack up wins in their Northwest Conference. Tonight, both the Bulldogs and the Pirates look to compete for the outright league title. We're starting things off with Grove's head coach, Andy Schaefer. Coach Schaefer, you guys started off the season one and two, but since then you won six straight games. What stood out to you about your team's performance during that span? Well, obviously uh, our goal is to, in our program is to get better each week, and clearly we did, did that. You looked at us week one, you look at us week nine, and, and certainly tonight you're going to see a totally different team. So I love how our coaches have coached and, and our players have reacted, and, and we're where we need to be right now. Tonight you have a chance to tie the league record for the most NWC championships with 16. What's the game plan to come out on top tonight against the Pirates? We play Columbus Grove football. We're a tradition. Uh, you know, we've had success. Let's play with some swagger and, and be Grove. Thank you for your time, Coach. We're now turning things over to Bluffton's head coach, Jeff Richards. Coach Richards, you guys are undefeated for a reason. You guys are balanced on both sides of the ball. You've outscored your opponents 376 to 28. How do you look to keep that going against Columbus Grove tonight? Well, you know, just staying consistent, limiting big plays. You know, our biggest thing all season is that we've done a great job of communicating and then uh, just staying consistent with our players and, and holding our players to a high standard. Uh, and they've done a great job with that. You mentioned it earlier, 2005 was the last time you guys won a share of the league title. 2004 was the last outright title. You know, how much would it mean to you and the program in order to bring that home to Bluffton tonight? Well, anytime there's a championship on the line, it means something because that's what you're playing for. So it's huge. It's huge for the, both communities. You know, you got two communities that love football. It's going to be a great night. Thank you for your time, Coach. And that's all the time that we have for our full coverage of Football Friday Night. Tune in at 11.15. Reporting in Columbus Grove, Tony Quach, your News Now Sports. Thanks, Tony. Let's take a look at some of our notable matchups for Week 10 in the regular season finale. The Lima Senior Spartans have a chance to win the Toledo City League crown outright against the Start Spartans. Big game there. The WBL crown on the line as Salina and Wapak clash from Harmon Field. And then the 9-0 Marion Local Flyers host the 9-0 Coldwater Cavaliers in a MAC main event. That'll be a good one. The new Bremen Cardinals are attempting to snap their three-game losing streak, while the Jays are looking to even their record at 500. We'll have 14 games tonight in the regular season finale. Be sure to tune in at 11.15 for all the action.